Hi everyone, Rick Bray with Broomtow Gaboses, and one piece of feedback we've heard from many of our enterprise Schoology districts is that it's great how Schoology automatically makes your courses for you and enrolls the appropriate students in those courses thanks to the fact that the enterprise version of Schoology talks with the student information system in your district. But along with that, we've also heard that sometimes the course names don't always make the most sense. Like in this example, I can see it's College Chemistry Section 1-4, and I don't really know what that means. And we've heard teachers say, it'd be great if we could use different names or somehow identify these better. Well, in this video, I'd like to show you two possible solutions for that. The first one is gonna work no matter where you are. And it's not a perfect solution, but it definitely helps and it's safe regardless of what district you're in or how your system is set up. And that is to go into your course and edit the course picture and maybe replace it with a picture of the class number, one, two, three, or four, or alternatively, you could go into maybe a Google Doc or a Word Doc, type out the course name and period number. So, you know, in this case, maybe College Chemistry P4 for period four. Take a screenshot of that and attach that as the profile picture and it'll show up here. Again, it's not perfect because it doesn't change the name, but no matter how your system is set up, that's going to work for you. And that is one way to organize it. Now, the next suggestion I have for you, I'm gonna say uh, be careful because your results may vary. You may wanna check with your system administrator first to make sure that you can do this in your district. What I do know is that in the Broom Tioga districts that we support, you are able to do this. You can change the section name of the course. How do I do that? Uh, well, in a course on the left-hand side is course options, and then I wanna select edit info. From here, again, I can change the section name to perhaps be the period that I want. In this case, period four. Once I know uh, which class this is, I can check by looking at the members area within the course. And then when that's all set, you can hit save and the changes will be saved. It effectively renames the section name. Now what you wanna be careful of, I specifically am saying section because you don't wanna change the course name. Uh, the course name, if you change that, will affect all sections, all periods of that course. And that could be a problem if, for example, you have multiple teachers teaching that course. So if I were to rename this uh, Mr. Bray's College Chemistry, every single college chemistry course in the district would be named Mr. Bray's College Chemistry, even if I am not the one teaching it. So you wanna leave course name alone, but you can change the section name to reflect the period or mod that you have. Be sure to hit save at the bottom and then you can continue that on with your next course. You can click up here and select the next course in line or you could go up to your courses and do the same thing. But there you go, that is how you can rename or help organize your courses within the enterprise version of Schoology. If you have any questions uh, regarding this or anything else EdTech related, by all means, please feel free to email me at rbray at btboses.org. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get notifications and updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.